Humanity is in a, in a profound inflection point in human history where we are looking to a new paradigm. Technology is disrupting business, uh, social ventures, politics, and it's also disrupting the emotional experience of human life. One of the great challenges for me as a journalist um, is to um, still be very focused on, uh, on those facts, those still are very important, um, but finding ways to um, be able to connect and tell stories better um, because we're trying to convey some extremely complex things. Telling someone that the planet's going to warm by two degrees doesn't really inspire them to do anything, but telling them that 30 million people in Bangladesh may be displaced in the next 80 years may resonate a little more. In 2010, I embarked on this program called the China Dream. It's really to create a national identity, much like the American Dream, but what, what is it for China? What technology has brought, I think, in the last sort of uh, five years, really, is particularly as mobility and, and more social platforms have emerged, it's sort of rapidly accelerating uh, the opportunity for people who were disconnected, who were just pawns in the game of life, to actually have a voice. I saw in Al Jazeera once a, um, a gentleman who's in Aleppo reporting directly as a victim. What we're seeing is the victim is also the journalist. They're holding the phone right there and they're telling their situation. They're also the photographer uh, recorder. They're also the distribution channels coming straight off Facebook or Snapchat or whatever. So the pain, the energy, the conflict is no longer dissipated. It's literally going from their hand to my hand. So it's much harder for me to like pretend nothing's going on. You need to visualize the social norm that you want at the very beginning for people. And this is why storytelling is so important. What we're doing in the end is creating a platform by which any individual can search through the relationships on this planet. I'm having a really hard time with my breakup. Here's five conversations from around the world of other relationships dealing with a similar issue. I'm excited about um, bringing Maori voices to thebodyisnotanapology.com. I'm excited to listen to the stories of Maori people um, in their own voices and their connection to how we create a more just and equitable and compassionate world. We can really learn a lot from our indigenous cultures and see what are some culture and customs and values that they have that we should adopt as we embark on this new level of consciousness in which we're all communicating. It allows us to translate addressing a problem and having actionable ways of dealing with it afterwards, after being inspired and moved, and in some ways not depressed, happy, joyful, full of content, is where we make the most change. There's a power in the story of my life can resonate in the story of your life. We all have stories to tell, all of us.